for NBA basketball on 2K Sports. Brian Anderson here with me, Grant Hill and Richard Jefferson. Joining us courtside is Allie LaForce. Allie, take it away. Well, Brian, the Heat are united. Coach Spolster said, quote, it's not about stats with these guys, and that's so unique. You can talk about it, you can teach it, you can rant as much as you want, but this league is based on celebrating a lot of other things, and rightfully so, but ultimately, it's about winning. There it is. Thanks, Allie. Now a moment to take a look at the year-to-year -year scoring output and how it's been trending for Malcolm Brogdon. And when you look at his offensive output over the past few years, it seems like other teams have figured him out and have his number now. He's having to put in a lot more effort on the offensive end, but without producing nearly the same results. And let's take a look at Boston's starting lineup. Brogdon and Brown are on the wings. Tatum at four, while Williams patrols the middle. And it's Smart in at the one. And for Miami, Lowry and Hero are the backcourt. Caleb Martin out there with Jimmy Butler. And it's Adebayo in at the center position. And the Boston Celtics are one of the most decorated teams in all of sports. Think about all the rings they've won, as well as the talent that they've had on their roster. Now here's Brogdon on the wing, Tatum. Basket is good on the assist from Brogdon. While Tatum is the obvious option for the catch and shoot, he's such an efficient scorer. Lowry, the pass to Martin. Hits a three-pointer. Such a rich history for the respected Boston franchise. From the days of Bill Russell to Larry Bird and Kevin McHale in the 80s, and then Pierce, Allen, KG, Rondo winning the ring in 08. The players on this roster understand how important it is to carry on that legacy starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. Yeah, when he gets engaged this early in the game, it's bad news for the defense. He can roll this start throughout the rest of the game. First quarter, just over a minute play. On the drive, smart. Pass to Williams. He gets it in there. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He'll gladly take those. Here's Butler. No luck. They battled on the glass, but they couldn't knock it down. Now here's Brogdon, and he buries his first look. The offensive IQ Brogdon has is fantastic. A creative score in close. And that streaking rack attack is the mobile one drive. Yeah, aggressive take there to get inside. They're looking to make things happen to try and take control of this game. And that's what they teach you at every level. Get a body on your man, box out, grab the board. Now here's Brogdon. Playing Orlando, he was nearly unstoppable. Here's Williams. And Williams punches it home. Oh, nothing soft about that. Was not going to be denied. Just took the dunk that was right in front of him. And that's his MLB physical. Get in position for the putback and throw it down. The defense got to know that's what he's looking to do. All right, a look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Celtics. He makes one or two that time. And here in the middle of the season, these teams really coming into their own right now. They found their identity and know what they're all about, Grant. Well, oftentimes, that's what happens. I mean, these guys have had the time to gel and get to know how they like to play. And at this point, it's all about going out night after night and just executing. The big story thus far, how well they've shot the rock. The free throw drops for Williams. Miami's gone two for three from outside the arc. Butler against Brown. Butler passes to Adebayo. It's Martin on the wing. Again, the Heat misses. The Celtics have got six of eight shots to go. They double-team Brown. Pass to Brogdon. And the shot is good on the assist by Tatum. Intelligent basketball. Keep feeding the hot hand. Now a timeout called by Miami. And let's have a look at the current NBA scoring leaders. Jason Tatum, fourth. He's proven to be an essential part of their offensive efforts. Always playing hard on that end and ensuring they come up with points. Brown with the steal. Pass to Smart. Back to Brown. Fires for three. And again, Boston with the triple. 
three points. Boy, I like their energy coming in. <laughs> Terrific execution so far. Couldn't come up with a much better start than this. They just have to keep it going. Now here's Smart. Well, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. And force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. Lowry, the pass to Butler. Oh, no good. The dry spell continues. Marcus Smart is one of the toughest players in this league, mentally and physically. So willing to sacrifice himself on a play on both ends. Now here's Brogdon. Making a mark on the offensive end. Scoring around 13 a game. Here's Hero. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. They'll pin that one on Marcus Smart. Man, good whistle there. Smart's toughness does really stand out on defense, though, Richard. Yeah, because he gets right up in your jersey. Even though it can put him in harm's way, if he thinks he can trip you up at all, he'll put his body on the line. Oladipo's checked in for Jimmy Butler. And there's Brown. That one's good. On the assist from Smart. Brown's got five now. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. Boston has gone two of two at the perimeter. Back to Brogdon. Outside, Brown. Elbow shot. Tips it. Here's Williams. Kick out to Brown. They shoot again. And the Celtics tack on two more. So far, they're owning both ends of the floor. We'll see if they can keep this going. They came out and bum-rushed them. Huge difference in activity level from both teams tonight. Defensively, you have to stay connected to them on the perimeter. A different look for Miami. Yurt Sevens checked in for Bam Adebayo. Struess comes in for Hero. And Vincent is subbed in for Lowry. A big group substitution here for Boston. Horford, he's checked in for Jason Tatum. Gallinari comes in for Brown. White, he's checked in for Malcolm Brogdon. And Pritchard is subbed in for Smart. Miami has gone three of seven from beyond the arc in the first. Yurt Seven passes to Struess. Three-pointer off the mark. Here's Pritchard. Looking at the numbers, he's putting up seven points a game. <laughs> They're not messing around. Five of their last six buckets have come from the interior. Releases. Oladipo finds Struess. Jacks up a three. Good work defensively by White. Pass to Pritchard. Top of the key. That shot, no good. And Miami the other way now. Their last meeting was in Boston, where they were unable to fight off the Celtics. Turnovers were the story of that game. It wasn't what I would call a disciplined performance. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. And here's Gallinari. And it's Boston scoring again. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. Here's Struess from outside, off the mark. Here's Pritchard. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Pass to Gallinari. And Gallinari throws it down. Really taking charge of the game, largely with a detailed interior attack. Yeah, they haven't appeared in a rush at all. They are just playing to their strengths and building this lead out well. Williams has checked in for Williams. Oladipo, the pass to Martin. Hits the trifecta. Martin's got seven. Drawing so much attention, Oladipo rotates the ball to the open man. White against Struess. White, the pass to Williams. And the bucket is good. And the Celtics lead by 18. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Pass to Struess. Three-pointer. Williams grabs the board. No question who's in control of the board so far. White, the pass to Gallinari. Over to the left wing. Dives for it. It's stolen. Oladipo outside. This one for three. He drops it from range. Six points for him. 
when he gets a quality look like this at the perimeter, he can almost be automatic. Pass to Horford. Back to Pritchard. Martin against Williams. Back to Pritchard. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. And guys, the way this defense is getting manhandled down low, you have to wonder if they're at 100% right now. Uh, you know, some people could say he's struggling on offense this period. I like to think of more of drowning. Just can't seem to find his confidence. Now here's Gallinari. He's coming off a 10-point game against Orlando. And I love what he's been able to do on the glass, securing some extra possessions for his team. He plays with great energy. When Oladipo makes successful drives, things start to open up for the rest of his team. Now Gallinari. One second left. And so it's Boston liking their chances, ending the quarter with a 15-point lead. Building this lead up in large part because of how well they're shooting it. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere. Fan, your Heat Youth Dance Team. Here come the Heat Dance Team. Great to have you with us. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And a very convincing performance from the Celtics so far. Well, it looks like hitting the boards hard was an emphasis of their attack. They knew how valuable it was to do so. Yeah, it's clearly a focus for them in this one. And no question that all the second chance looks are paying off. On the floor for Boston. Brogdon and Brown are on the wings. Jason Tatum out there with Grant Williams. And it's Smart in at the point guard position. Oh, gotta be cautious when Otto Bio is in the area. Showing once again that he's a legitimate shot blocking threat. If you give a shooter of his skill an opening like this, he's gonna take it every time. Now here's Brown. Williams a screen on Butler. Here's Tatum. And Hero grabs the board. How did he break that one? He smoked it. Everything was set up for that to be an easy basket. Time now to hear from our reporter, Allie LaForce. Thanks. Well, Jason Tatum added muscle to his frame and layers to his game, but still not satisfied. He said, quote, I just got to be better. I have to elevate my level from being one of the top 10 to 15 players to a top five player. I got to make everybody else around me better. Brian, still work to do. And plenty of runway to do it, Allie. Thanks. And every team has them. those games where you just don't have it. Why does that happen, Brad? Well, yeah, I think, first of all, 82 games. It's a grind of the season. You factor in traveling, injuries, players out for different reasons. You're going to have moments like this where it just doesn't happen. You know what you do? You learn from it, you move on, and you get ready for the next night. Now here's Brown. He's got seven. Connects on the open jumper. Brown's got nine. You want to know why they're winning? It's because of his play offensively. And they're going to count that bucket, and they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. you got to really hit Butler if you want to stop him. I mean, he's tough as nails and enjoys fighting through contact. Robert Williams checked in for Boston. Trying their best to catch up. Can't fault their performance from the line, especially this quarter. Hero against Brogdon. Up top, Tatum. Clock at four. Takes the three. He connects. And now he's four for six in today's game. An accurate shooter from distance. Tatum's teammates want him to keep looking to pull the trigger. Hero, no good. If they just continue to dominate the boards. Smart passes to Brogdon. Pass to Brown. Tatum from long range. He's off on that one. And it's Miami the other way. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. Hero for three. Williams grabs the board. Williams has got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. To the inside. Tatum. Oh, Tatum slams it home. See, this is what Tatum Miami. is capable of. Look, look, he is a sensational scorer. Like, if we understand that. He gets into a rhythm. 
and the three-point contest is one of the highlights of All-Star Weekend. Here are some of the contenders who have a shot to compete in the event. And perhaps that list changes a little between now and All-Star Weekend, but I would have no problems if those guys end up competing. Well, you look at Tatum. He's right on the cusp of securing his spot in the three-point contest. So I hope those votes keep pouring in because he's a guy you'd love to see in the mix. Yeah, if he can make it in the door, you know he will do everything he can to win the whole thing. And it'll be a lot of fun to watch. And as we continue to count the votes, we'll update you on any changes to the list. No matter who is in it, though, it's going to be fun. Maybe this is the year we see a perfect score. Who knows? I'll be sure to be locked in on all of All-Star Weekend, especially the three-point contest. Miami trailing. Lowry, the pass to Hero. Who poked away. It's stolen by Smart. In transition, here they come! I love the aggression from Brown. Tough cover for any defender out there. Well, you have to be impressed with the constant growth we're seeing from Jalen Brown. He's put in a lot of work to become an all-star player. And at this point for Brown, do you think he's realized his full potential, Richard? No, I don't even think so, especially when you look at his work ethic. He puts in so much time that I think he can reach another level. He's still young and eager to learn. If I were to put it in 2K terms, I think he can get up to about a 94, 95 overall. Their interior D continues to look shaky. Not a good matchup for them right now. Hero, no good. <laughs> I'll tell you what, they've rebounded the ball tremendously well. Smart against Lowry. The three is up. Adebayo grabs the board. Adebayo's got five rebounds in the game. Butler finds Hero. Pure from three-point range. Hero's got six points in the quarter. That's his second triple of the quarter and third of the game. Keep building. And Boston calls time here. Celtics call timeout. So Miami going with an almost entire new group here. Geert Sevens checked in for Adebayo. Martin comes in for Jimmy Butler. Oladipo's checked in for Struess. And Vincent is subbed in for Lowry. Now here's Brown. He's got 11. Horford, a screen on Oladipo. Out to Horford. Let's the three fly. Miami grabs the miss. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. Martin, the pass to Hero. And he drains it. That basket makes him four for nine. After failing to get going in the first quarter, he's looked much better here in the second. Here's Tatum. White for three. Second shot opportunity. And Horford with the lay-in. And the Celtics lead by eight. The value of a big man with Horford's quickness can't be overstated. He takes full advantage of the rebound opportunity. I thought he had that all sewn up, but somehow the defense just threw him off. There's Tatum with the three. It's rebounded by your seven. Miami has gone three for seven from the perimeter during the second quarter. Hero with the bucket. And he's coming off a huge performance, and his confidence couldn't be any higher. And his coach knows that, too. When it ain't broke, leave it alone. Until yeah, someone right. stops him, just let him roll. Yeah, the savvy of Horford on display. Just tremendous passing as a big. Pass to Martin. From the arc. The shot misses. And Boston going the other way now. I'll tell you what, they've been aggressive and they've been physical. Tatum can't hit. The Heat have gotten 7 of 15 shots here in the second quarter. Hero, the pass to Oladipo. For three. Rebound Boston. Their last game, a win against the Magic. Looking to carry it into this one. Sometimes it's difficult to get good looks on the road, but they ran the offense brilliantly. Yeah, they seem unfazed by the hostile environment. I mean, just look at how efficiently they shot the ball. The shot by Oladipo, no good. Boston shooting just around 39% in the second quarter. And here's Brown for three. And it's Miami with a rebound. Good seven's got four rebounds now. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. <laughs> they've been impeccable from the line here in the second period. Doing
doing what they can to try to now build why? some momentum. Well, Richard, 17 years for you as a player. If you were to give some advice to someone starting their playing career right now, what do you think that would be? Oh, it would always be get your routine down. Get your pregame routine. Get your summer routine. you got to figure out what it is that makes your game work. Because it's hard as you get older. NBA careers don't last very long. But if you put your routine, you put your game first, everything else will fall in line. They get it back. Well, the Heat's shooting just 35% from the floor. White with the steal. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. They've been so effective on the interior this quarter. That's how you generate consistent offense. And for people who didn't know about Derek White before last year's playoffs, they sure know about him now. He played big on the biggest stage. And even though they're down, it's not on him. He's been lights out on offense for them this quarter is special. Let's it go from deep. White can't hit. And for the Heat, they're shooting 42% in the second quarter. Here's Hero. Here's Martin. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And now just a five-point Boston lead. That'll drive your coach crazy, failing to box out. Ugh. Oh, yeah, you think you got to stop, and it's wasted because of sloppy work on the glass. You literally practice that every day. Here's Pritchard. Outside White. Just five to shoot. Late clock. The Celtics got to hurry here. And they forced the shot clock violation. Great D. Substitutions for your heat. Bam Adebayo. Max Strews. And so here is Miami, trailing by five. Fires the three. It's not going to go for him. And the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that's been very close so far. It's the Celtics. They're up by five. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Well, Jason, you hold the lead going into halftime. What's been your advantage so far? Uh, for, for most of the half, um, we were really good defensively. Uh, we let our foot off the gas a little bit, so uh, we got to do a better job. Keep the pedal to the metal, guys. Allie, as always, thank you. We'll be right back to begin the third quarter right after this. And welcome to halftime. With the all-star festivities around the corner, here are the favorites to take part in the dunk contest. You look at the explosiveness in this field. These guys put up highlights on a nightly basis. And they love to top one another, whether it's in games or in this contest. And now coming back to this game, a strong first half for the Boston Celtics. I want to go to Shaq on this one, man. Points in the paint. No one did it better. All right, Big Fell, I'm giving you a compliment. But what do you see these guys doing to get such good looks? I wouldn't know, Kenny. I was born with good looks. Don't know that it's exactly what he was talking about. Of course it was, Ernie. But you do make a valid point. Thanks for joining us. Time to head back over to the third quarter with Brian Anderson. in that first half we saw a pretty tight battle we'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during halftime how about tyler hero displaying all of his skills today well if he's hit threes like he did in the first half he's gonna have a monster night and let's see if the d adjusts make life a little more difficult on him on the wing it'll be hero and butler Bam out is out there with caleb martin and it's lowry in at the point that's the group on the floor for miami Williams. Adebayo grabs the board. Adebayo's got six rebounds in the game. Martin up top. And a foul That's called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. That one misses. Now at the line, Caleb Martin. And no luck at the stripe this time. Second one won't fall. The Celtics with the lead. Now here's Brown. Outside Tatum. 
kick out to Brown. Six on the shot clock. And the shot is good on the assist by Tatum. Tatum's got three assists now in this one. Impressive ball handling from Tatum. Attracts the other team's focus and then finds the open man. Now here's Martin. 11 points in the game. Lowry outside. Back to Martin. Nice D from Tatum. Boston shooting the ball at 48% so far. Down low. Oh, Tatum slams it home. Oh, this is how aggressive Tatum is. Excellent job of getting to the rim and a finish. Just like it. And it's Butler with the jam. I just love the aggressive finish. Oh, I'm thinking he's sending a strong message with that jam. Martin against Tatum. Pass to Smart. Outside Brogdon. Shoots over Hero. Kick out to Brown. Fires from deep. That shot is off. And it's Miami the other way. Following this game, they host the Magic. It's game three of a trifecta at home. Offensive board. The shot by Butler. No good. You gotta love how they've been crashing the boards. Fighting hard for every miss. Just under two and a half minutes into this third quarter now. Here's Smart. And he goes in for the dunk. Smart. Oh, come on. Just add vision to his perfect skill set. Like when he's dropping dimes like that, like Jason Tatum is a problem. And always fun to see which players have been the deadliest from three-point range. Tyler Hero, fourth. Well, the shooting percentage he's cultivated from deep range is so impressive. His three-point shot is about as good as you can hope for. Brockton against Hero. Brockton, the pass to Williams. Smart for three. And Hero grabs the board. The Heat have gotten three of six shots to fall so far in the third. Here's Butler. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. They get it back. Hero, no good. Boston's gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Smart finds Tatum. Brown with it. He's got 13. Launches it. Williams. Great positioning on the putback. And the Celtics lead by six. <laughs> They're just taking what the defense gives them. And right now, that's the interior. And the shot goes. And that's how you orchestrate the offense. Lowry showing the vision and the unselfishness. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Well, guys, the Celtics are handing the keys to the two Jays, Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. There have been growing pains and even some question if the pair could coexist. But Brown said, quote, the adversity will help us grow. As long as I'm on the same page with him and he's on the same page with me, we're all good, right? Figuring it out, Allie. Thank you. Brogdon, the pass to Smart. Back to Brogdon from deep. Rebound by the Heat. And even though he hasn't been himself, it hasn't affected his team too much. They've still got the lead. Pass to Adebayo. And stolen by Williams. Outside Tatum. Here's Smart. Outside for Brogdon. Launches a three. Knocks down the triple. Brogdon's got seven points in the game. All right, guys, what's your take on the hustle stats for Boston? The Heat have gotten only four of ten shots to fall so far in the third. Here's Butler. Out to Lowry. 4-3. Goes back up. Pass to Hero. Here's Martin. No good on the triple. The Celtics have gotten five of 12 shots to drop in the third. Smart passes to Williams. Now Brogdon. He's guarded by Hero. Just five on the clock. There's Tatum with the three. That shot off the mark. And Miami will go the other way with it. Butler on the wing. Ooh, he took a hard foul 
on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. Fearless play from Butler. Defenses should know he's going to try and draw a foul while shooting. So Miami going with an almost entire new group here. Geert Sevens checked in for Bam Adebayo. Victor Oladipo comes in for Martin. Struess, he's checked in for Hero. And Vincent is subbed in for Lowry. A big group substitution here for Boston. Horfer, he's checked in for Smart. Williams comes in for Jason Tatum. Gallinari, he's checked in for Brown. And it's White in for Malcolm Brogdon. Love how selfless he is setting brick screens like this. Plays like that right there are what help create easy scoring opportunities. That was another look at our Mobile One drive of the game just a moment ago. Yeah, and with a finish like that, you know he's looking to extend the lead and put this game out of reach. The Celtics making a switch here. Smart's checked in. And again, the Heat missing. And they've just built this lead by attacking the boards. Struess against White. Pass to Horford. Gallinari for three. Yes, great play by Horford to set him up. And now it's an 11-point Boston lead. Here's Vincent. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. And part of the Murray trade over the summer, Gallinari was bought out from the Spurs. So quickly there, he landed with the Celtics. He can still offer great shooting at the forward spot. It was a nice signing by Boston. Butler with the ball. Now guarded by White. Struess on target from range. Struess has got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Gallinari, the pass to White. Gallinari against Oladipo. Pass to White. Gallinari with a screen on Struess. Outside for Gallinari. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Butler passes to Struess. Fires for three. Horford pulls it in. Horford's got six rebounds now in the game. Outside White. One oh five left in the third. Pass to Williams. The three. Gallinari's shot is off. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Butler passes to Oladipo. Knocks down the long J. Oladipo's got 11. A tremendous facilitator out of the wing. Butler finding the uncovered man. And here's White, providing this team some offensive stability. A little over 10 points a game. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. From 13, a nice shot by Butler. And now just a three-point Boston lead. And he has been on fire this quarter in terms of his scoring. Hopefully that fire spreads to his other guys and they can rally. With the teardrop, Williams from long range. Rebound by the Heat. Pass to Oladipo. Now here's Butler. This for the time. And good. Coming on the setup by Oladipo. Oladipo's got his third assist of the night. They really picked up the energy level and have willed themselves back into this game. And as tired as they might be after fighting the tie up, they have all the momentum now to finish this comeback. It's all tied in Miami. And fourth quarter basketball will be coming your way on 2K Sports right after this. now as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. You can count on him to deliver a few assists like this one each and every night. And the ability to drop your jaw with the pass is something you rarely see in this league. What a talent he is. And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. And a look at the five for the Celtics to start the fourth quarter. We've got Grant Williams, Derek White out there with Malcolm Brogdon. Then it's Danilo Gallinari, and it's Tatum in at the four to the paint. Oh, Gallinari with a steal. They push it up four on three. Here's Brogdon, laid it in with a nice touch off the window. You have to respect the intelligence. Brogdon knows where to get to in the open floor. And the call will be against Jason Tatum. That's his fifth foul. 
first. Well, he needs to be careful. One more foul, and he's done. Some changes for Boston. Williams comes in for Williams, and it's Brown in for Gallinari. Oladipo finds Lowry. Inside, deflects the pass. Tatum with a steal. Another shot, and he lays it up and in. And Tatum's teammates love the hustle. They appreciate him going hard on the offensive glass and really getting it done. Adebayo, no good. The Celtics have gotten half of their attempts to fall in the fourth. Two for four now. It's Brown on the wing. He's guarded by Oladipo. Ooh, nice move as he stepped back and cast it up. And it's a six-point Boston lead. Here's Adebayo. Second chance effort. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. Robert Williams picks up one. You have to love the style Bam brings with him to the floor. He's such a spirited player, and you can see his teammates enjoy it as well. Martin, he's checked in for Miami. Tyler Hero comes in for Struess. Tatum with another miss. The D has to respect his range. He made two in the first half, and he's capable of draining even more here in the second quarter and beyond. He buries it from three. Hero's got 23 points. Their strategy has been pretty simple here in the second half. Attack from three-point range. And you see this so much more nowadays in the NBA. Teams putting a larger emphasis on jacking up threes. Five on the clock. Here's Brown. And the Celtics tack on two more. I love seeing Brown get it done inside. He's more than just a jump shooter. Oladipo, the pass to Martin. Back to Oladipo. And here's Martin, pounded by Tatum. Oladipo on the wing. Tries again. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he'll send the rest of this one out. Yeah, too bad he fouled out. But this team does have some depth at his position. The free throw drops for Oladipo. And Oladipo drops them both. Over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. Brogdon against Hero. Gallinari for three. It's hauled in by the Heat. Lowry's got his fifth rebound in this one. Pass to Hero. Into the lane. That's good. And so Lowry with the assist. Lowry's got assist number eight now on the night. Boston has gone 0 for 3 here in the fourth. Outside, Brown puts up a three. The rebound by Lowry. Lowry's got six rebounds here tonight. Oladipo, the pass to Hero. It's Martin on the wing. Out to the wing. And here's Lowry from the arc. And the Heat, another three. And what's working here, each guy is willing to make the next pass. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Brown finds Williams. And no good. Miami with the ball. Big run right now for him. 11-2. Hero for three. Fires in the triple. And now a six-point Heat lead. When you let a team knock down that many threes, you know you're likely to be on the wrong side of a run. Smart's checked in for Boston. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Alley. Hey, guys, the head coach for Boston had some instruction for his guys during the break. He instructed his guys to buckle down, saying, quote, it's do or die time. Let's stay focused and finish like it's a playoff game. We'll see if they can pull it off. Back to you. Allie, thank you. Yeah, they just can't seem to end the drought no matter where they shoot it from. This is snowballing for them. They've got to get a good look next time down. Here's Brogdon. With some arc. Not going to go that time. Good work defensively by Oladipo. Yeah, just hasn't been able to find his rhythm offensively. And that's having a ripple effect. And Adebayo slams it in. What a confident dunk by Adebayo. He knows there's little the defense can do once he's elevated. Smart outside. 
Pass to Brown. Gallinari with a screen. Drive by Brown. And the jam by Brown. Say it with the chest, young fella. Jalen Brown with the strong finish. Martin finds Hero. The rebound, Celtics. And at home for the next game, it'll be New York pulling in to face him. That game marks the start of a four-game homestand for the club. Brown can't hit. Yeah, no triples for him here in the second half. One fell in the first, though. Can he turn it up? And there's Hero on the assist from Lowry. Lowry's got assist number 10 tonight with that last one. Right side, Brogdon. It's smart on the wing. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Man, this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. This is today's NBA. Hey, we see this kind of change more often than not. And the Heat making a change here. Butler's checked in. And it's Miami's ball. They're on a 19-7 run. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Jalen Brown picks one up. Playing with passion. Butler is never scared of a challenge. A wing who battles inside. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. That's what he does. Rock solid at the line. Up top, Brown. Butler covering. Gallinari for three. Here's Williams. And good work on the boards as they picked up the second chance points. In crunch time, trying to get the foul, the bucket, or both. Hero on the wing. From outside the arc. Boston with a rebound. Williams has got his 16th rebound on the night. To the inside. And Brown with the stuff. There you go, JB. I love his confidence. One of his strongest traits. Butler passes to Lowry. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. I like that. I mean, some physical play inside. He's not about to give up any easy baskets. He hits the second from the line. Embracing his role as a leader for this squad. Lowry recognizes the importance of this in terms of developing his teammates. And Kyle Lowry is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul. Kyle Lowry. First personal foul. Brown First finds Gallinari. Smart outside. Now Brown. There's the triple. As hard nosed as they come. Butler forces you to do extra to score against him. No luck on that one. Austin trailing. And here's Brown for three. Counted from distance. Brown's got 24 points. Some players shrink when the pressure's on, but he lives for these moments. Good on the shot. Me. This is Jimmy Buckets at his best. Rising to a challenge and delivering for his team. Here's Brown. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. That's all Jimmy Butler. A chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for the Heat. Horford, he's checked in for Gallinari. And by missing that free throw, now a three could even the score. Not ideal. Martin outside. Beyond the arc. Hauled in by Brown. Oh, man, he can't get anything to fall. You can feel his frustration. Yeah, <laughs> right now, he's just in his own head. Not much you can do to try and push through it. Well, he's not the tallest guy on the roster, but, man, can he pull the what? Butler passes to Martin. Butler against Brown. Clock at six. Back to Butler. Lowry outside. Hero for three. He can't get that one to fall. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Butler against Brown. To tie it up! Can't get the three to fall. Brogdon from outside. Can't knock in the three. And they stop the clock as soon as they can with the intentional foul. Getting a little desperate at this stage. I mean, the clock's the big factor. Good on the first. And that gives him a four-point cushion. 
match. Second one is good, getting both at the line, and it's a five-point game. That should put this game on ice, not leaving any points behind. And Boston calls time here. They're down by five. Just four seconds left to play in the fourth. All right, guys, what's your take? Trying to extend this one, but it seems futile. With timeouts, it's use them or lose them. So why not go down fight? So the Heat win it. I'm sure they would have preferred a blowout victory, but a win's a win. And so true, but you have to credit the crowd for giving them such a big boost toward the end. They really kept this team's energy high. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Tyler, we know you are never shy. What gives you that confidence to let it fly when the pressure is on? Uh, I like taking a big shot. Uh, my teammates, my coaches, they all trust me, put me in the right spot. So uh, sometimes I make a couple big shots here and there. Well, you give them a reason to trust as well. Congratulations. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for that. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Brian Anderson saying thanks for watching. And as we leave, we give you our New Balance Player of the Game, Tyler Hero.